Manga has been kicking ass recently, dominating the charts, taking all 20 of the top 20 spots and selling books. And there's no comic books from the mainstream Western media to be found, particularly in America. Because you have shields like Jerry Conway pushing more bullshit about sexism and misogyny as if any man should give a shit in the first place when misandry and sexism against men is out and allowed publicly. So even if this statement was the truth about sexism and misogyny, why would I give a fuck? Because my logic is hate who hate you. So that's how I feel about that. Plus this asshole created power girl who shows her tits and has the breast window. But because he literally stands for nothing because he's a mainstream shill, he goes from creating a character like Power Girl to now talking about rampant sexism and misogyny. And this is the very reason why manga is dominating. And Western creators like Jerry Conway wants to invade Japanese properties. Wants, to them, wants them to accept or be forced to accept their Western ways. So I ask, why is the white liberal trying to culturally appropriate these people? What's up with the cultural colonization? I mean, this is a pure example of invasion uh, through culture and entertainment. I mean, there's so much talk about cultural appropriation. Well, here's a clear example of it. And it's come from these it's coming from these white liberal woke libtards trying to dictate to Japanese creators what they should be doing with their own creative properties. And you even have the customers of these manga books stating in a survey they don't want Holly Weird anywhere near anime and manga properties. A survey that was uh, held and asked 1,000 men and women in their teens to 60s nationwide in their country. How did they feel about Hollywood engaging in their anime and manga? And they don't want anything to do with it. Nearly half of those answered zero. They don't want no interaction because we've seen the adaptations that have... Uh, recently gone on with you know things like Death Note, uh, like, like horrible Dragon Ball Z movies, among other things. But here you have, once again, these people trying to culturally appropriate another nation's and another culture's entertainment and, and culture. Because the fact is, the just endless bigotry is all coming from the left. It's all coming from these liberals. And Jerry Conway is just a prime example of this alt-left bigotry that's going on here. Because he makes this stupid little statement about sexism, sexism and misogyny as if that's supposed to have an effect. As people are supposed to react to that and say, Oh, I don't want to be sexist against women? Against women of all people? the precious and delightful women who could do no wrong? Like, fuck this old crow. His bitch ass sitting in his avatar with a mask on while getting a shot. Well, I hope you suffer the consequences of that shot, you fucking retard. Won't you stay away from other people's culture, other people's entertainment, so they can enjoy it? You're just nothing but a colonizer, Jerry Conway. So get your shots and die.